Guild Wars 2 is an MMORPG that takes place in the enormous and mystical world of Tyria. When you first launch the game, you are required to make your own character. Creating your character can be a time consuming process or only a minute long job. With multiple sliders that let you customize your character's appearance, as well as the option to completely randomize it, leading the way you look into Fate's hands. You also have the ability to choose your character's race, class, and choices that affect the storyline so putting some time into character creation may improve your experience with the game. Once you begin playing, you're loaded into an area in the map and taken through a tutorial based on your character's race and storyline affecting choices. After the tutorial, such you're free care. to do as you please. Others usually start off by completing their personal story, since it rewards you with experience, equipment, and currencies that are used throughout the game. However, some parts of the story have level requirements that need to be reached before they can be played. When it comes to leveling your character, exploring the map rewards you generously with experience and lets you see the beauty and detail the developers put into the map. The map size is enormous, and to fully explore it would take a minimum of 60 hours. However, map completion doesn't include the optional events that occur throughout the world. Some events being on the smaller side, and with others being enormous and requiring you to fight multiple bosses. The larger events are usually group events, meaning the difficulty is based on the amount of players that are participating in them. The participants are also rewarded based on how much they contributed in the event. As your character continues to grow more powerful and gain levels, you'll notice just how much customization is involved. Each character class has different abilities that can be used, with the weapon you're using dictating your abilities and playstyle. A dagger can be played on four of the game's classes, and gives the player abilities that vary on the individual's class. The game's classes are well done, to the point where your playstyle will be available to play, with a total of nine classes that are surprisingly different from one another. The developers made each class independent, providing each with healing spells to keep them alive when unaccompanied by other players. Crafting weapons or armor is also a major emphasis in the game with nine different crafting disciplines that you can train your character in. For those that play other MMOs and get forced into a support role, there are no support only classes in Guild Wars 2, and most roles can sustain without one. Most of what was mentioned before applies to the game's player versus environment world. Guild Wars 2 also has servers that are dedicated to player versus player and even world versus world. In the PvP world, players fight against each other. But in the WVW world, massive groups of players fight against each other. Each world is trying to reach a common objective, such as taking over territory. Guild Wars 2's base price is $50. Based on what I said before, the decision as to if the price is right is yours. This game is amazing when it comes to replayability, since all the decisions made during character creation affect the game's story. Content-wise, an expansion pack has been recently released, with more possibly brewing in the future.